If your brake discs are getting a bit on the thin side, then it may be time to replace them. Replacing your brake discs might seem daunting, but it is actually quite simple once you understand the process. And also, it can save you a lot of money. First is to ensure that you have all of the tools and parts that you need. To raise the car on the air and remove the wheel, you will need a jack, an axle stand, a breaker bar and a wheel nut socket to remove the wheel nuts. To remove the caliper, you will need a bungee or a rope, a caliper wind tool, a ratchet and a socket set and a torque wrench when tightening everything up. And obviously your new brake disc. Ensure that this is compatible with your car. When jacking your car up, make sure you do your research as it can be very dangerous. Put some wheel chocks to stop the car from moving forward and back. Loosen your wheel nuts whilst the car is still on the ground as it can be difficult loosening them when the car is raced. And now you can begin to race the car. Locate your jacking point and jack the car up until the wheels are up in the air and you can slide the axle stand underneath. This will be your safety net in case the jack fails. Now fully remove all the wheel nuts and the wheels but lift carefully as the wheels can be heavy. And now you should have full access to the brake components. There are two bolts holding the caliper. Remove the two bolts and hang the caliper using a bungee or a rope. Make sure the caliper is not hanging by the brake lines. Now remove the brake pads and set aside. You can now also remove the two bolts holding the caliper bracket remove the bracket and then set aside. Now would also be a good opportunity to give your brake caliper a clean using a brake cleaner. Now you should have clear access to the brake disc. Some disc will have a screw that holds it in place, some may not. Some disc may become rusty and can be a little stuck. A light tap may be required to loosen the disc. Set the old disc aside and insert your new one. Now we are halfway there. And now it's time to put everything back. Reattach the caliper bracket and if you have a torque wrench in hand, make sure you torque the bolts to the correct torque specs. Now use your caliper rewind tool to push the caliper piston back in so that you can properly put the caliper back. If you don't wind the piston back, it might be a little difficult replacing the caliper. Replace the brake pads and ensure that the brake pads are inserted correctly. Now replace the caliper back and the two bolts and again, if you have a torque wrench in hand, torque the two bolts the correct torque specs. Now you can put your wheel back on and the wheel nuts in a star pattern to ensure even tightening. At this point, the nuts does not need to be very tight. Remove the axle stand, lower the car and then remove the jack, torque the wheel nuts to the correct torque specs which is usually around 120 newton meters. And that should be it. Make sure you test your brakes before you head for a long journey. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned a little. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and I shall see you on the next one.